What's up everyone, Karu here, and today I wanna to talk about a subject that has actually been coming up a lot of during my lessons, um, and I think it probably affects a lot of our viewers, so let's make a video about it. And this is something I truly believe it's hurting your development. And this issue is, again, been happening a lot in my lessons, but it's basically is your inability of understanding the nuances of the game. Let me explain. Nowadays, there's content for everything. Everything that you do, not even in just tennis, in everything in the world. You can go online and find something. Tennis, you're, there's the perfect technique for forehand, the perfect technique for backhand, the perfect strategy that is gonna help you win all the matches and all so on and so forth. There's a ton of content out there. Good content, bad content, regardless. You can get really sucked in and overwhelmed with all that information. This one size fits all approach can be very dangerous in terms of development, right? Because you know what works for me is not gonna work for another player. What works for what, the kind of strategy that works for a person might not work for another person. There's all sorts of nuances of subtleties uh, in tennis that you need to find out for yourself what works for you. I'm very conscious of this in the channel, even in my coaching style, that I'm always like trying to tell people, look, I'm, I'm telling you this, but it doesn't mean you have to do it all the time, right? Apart from, from very basic concepts in tennis, like things like hitting low to high, moving your feet, making your split steps, turning your shoulders. Those are things that, yes, they apply to everybody. But when it comes to like how to hit, you know, this ball or that ball, or like how do I handle this short slice, or how do I handle, you know, the high floater ball, there's all sorts of things that, again, I can I can't see how you play, um, right from from where I am. Uh, so for you to just blindly follow anything that you see without, uh, again, understanding the nuances not only of the match but like of how you play can be problematic. And before we continue, as you can see, I draw a lot of my inspiration for these videos from my lessons, from my time on court, because it's during that time that I see a lot of the mistakes players are making. So we made a free guide highlighting three of the major mistakes I see amateurs making and obviously how to correct them. So if you're sick of losing points you deserve to win, go to top3mistakes.com and download our free guide. Again, top3mistakes.com. Just put your email, download the free guide. It's going to help a lot. We put a lot of work into this and I think you're gonna like it. And now let's go back to the video. And this happens all the time even in our channel, right? Where Let's, I'm, I'll give you just a random example. Let's say I'm, say I'm talking about in the video, it's like, hey, I think everyone should be playing more open stance on their forehand. I think that's just a better way of hitting your forehand, of you know, absorbing pace and dealing with time pressure, all those things, right? Well, we'll for sure get comments like, well, two videos ago at 6.13, you hit a forehand close stance. What do you say about that? I'm like, look. <laughs> Again, you're going to do what the ball requires you to do, and sometimes that's going to be playing close stands, right? Again, just random example, but that could be with, with tactics, with strategy, that could be even more, not, not even gonna go there today because if we're gonna go into strategy like that, if you're just following a strategy blindly without even considering what's happening on the other side, oh, no, that's terrible. But there's also the, the comments of like, well, this pro does this, or this pro does that. Right, like we can <laughs> compare like ourselves, especially at your level, to the pros. Like pros, in anything that you master, right? You're first gonna learn the basic concepts. You know, you're gonna master the basic concepts, and then you're going to start playing around with those. Then you're going to start like exploring, like, well, like I can, I can do this a little bit different, right? Like, no one is teaching anyone to hit forehands over their heads like Rafa. It's just not something people teach. Right, but Rafa does it, it's, are you gonna tell him to stop doing it? People figure out their own way. And I think instead of being like, oh, this pro does this, it's like, oh, what? The, find your quirkiness, the, the thing that like makes you a little bit more unique, but that works for you, you know? Again, for, if it, for me it was doing this, then I would have done it too. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So just understanding the subtleties, those nuances, that all the things that happen on the court are happening so quickly and you're having to make quick decisions so all the time just to manage balls just to keep the ball in play 
that nothing that you really see online, nothing that you really see, even in lessons, is like an absolute. Again, besides those like again basic concepts of like hitting low, low to high, you know, like rolling the wrists through here, moving your feet, the stance is obviously close stance, open stance. Those things are are universal, but. The way you hit the ball, the way you, sh how much spin you're getting, like which shot you're going for, that each person sees the game a little bit different. Each person is unique in their own way and you have to f focus on that. The fact is you will become a much more effective player once you understand and embrace the nuances, the subtleties of the, the match of how tennis is played, that things are not always perfect, are not always absolute. Keep this in mind. Every time you step on the court, things are different. We often forget, not, it's not only how we are playing that day, right? Like, you might play the same guy over and over, and some days he plays terrible, some days he plays very well. You gotta be able to handle that. And there are all sorts of factors that can affect the way we are playing, right? So, for example, court speed. Sometimes you're playing faster courts, sometimes you're playing slower courts. That plays into it. Temperature, have you thought about that? If it's hotter, the ball is gonna fly a little bit more. So maybe that they, you're missing long, there's nothing to do with your technique. It's just a little bit, it's just warmer, and the ball is flying a little bit more, and you haven't made an adjustment. Maybe you didn't string your rackets properly for that weather. Or if it's colder, obviously the ball doesn't really go anywhere. Pros do that all the time. They get to a tournament, they, they string a bunch of rackets in different uh, string tensions, so they can find out which one is the, the one that they like. So thinking about that perfect strategy or that perfect shot, I'm just gonna do that every single time and that's gonna make me win. You're, you forget that all the other stuff that you have to manage and understand. And once you figure that out, it becomes a lot more easier to, to win matches. And again, this seems very obvious, but I have to remind high level juniors all the time that you can't just do what you want all the time. You have to be able to understand the nuances. You have to be able to adapt to, to, to your opponent. Like maybe that one perfect strategy that you found online that you want to execute, maybe place perfectly into your opponent's strengths. And you stubborn that you want to do that strategy because you think it's going to make you win every match, you do that and what happens? You end up losing. Playing to your opponent's strengths is not a great strategy. So that's it for this video. I know this is kind of a weird topic, but it is something that is, happens a lot, even at, with the highest level juniors that I coach, and I'm sure it's happening uh, to you as well as an amateur. So making sure you are willing to adapt, willing to understand the nuances, the subtleties of the game that not every single time you will be able to execute that perfect forehand that you learn or that slice short that you want to use or that drop shot it's not going to happen all the time your level of play depends on a lot of factors and you just understanding having that clear mindset they can gauge the the situation as a whole and make the right decisions all the time that's super important Again, that new strategy that you learn might play into your opponent's strengths. And then what? You're going to lose, right? You got to be able to adapt to that. So keep that in mind and start winning more matches. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It truly really helps us grow. Also, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Crazy that you're not subscribed. And let me know in the comments below if this is something that you are doing. Curious to see it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.